well. <laughs> Smells awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look at our weather forecast right now. It seems like this weather pattern is going to stick around at least through today, right? At least through today, yes. I do see drier weather later in the week, but today is going to remain stormy. Uh, I do want to share some of the uh, photos that I took around the neighborhood over the weekend before we started to bring that rain back. This weekend really showed us all the beautiful trees around. And again, a couple of photos in my nearby park, uh, yellow trees, orange uh, trees there. That was a Japanese maple, just amazing. So I hope you enjoyed all the colors out there. Uh, the trees will still look fantastic, even under these gray skies. Uh, but again, lots of rain in the mix. There's your peak at downtown, gray skies. Again, rainy conditions and the chance for thunderstorms rolling into the area today too, as we head towards about midday. Now, the culprit is this strong low that is offshore. It's pushing in lots of cold air and bands of rain. That cold air is, is what is developing those thunderstorms, and that continues as that air advects into the region. We'll start to uh, bring back some thunderstorms, maybe even some lightning strikes in the valley today. You can see those strikes just offshore there, even some down towards southern Oregon. So heading into today, we'll see more of this rain shifting in. Notice a lot of rain in Portland now down the valley, a little drier. So I do think within the next hour or two, we'll get a brief pause and some of this widespread rain. But again, still expecting lots of downpours and pockets of heavy showers today as we work our way towards the afternoon. There's a peak out Portland now, and you can see uh, there is rain all around the area here, the I-5 corridor and extending east and west on Highway 26 and Interstate 84 there. So use extra caution on the roadways today. Our daytime highs will top out right around the mid 50s and all across the west and east sides of Portland. That chance for rainy conditions and thunderstorms, uh, those arrive as we head towards about noontime. So keep the rain jacket on you. If you hear thunder, head indoors, maybe uh, take a break from driving on the roadways, especially if you get caught in a downpour up to Vancouver. Daytime highs in the mid-50s as well. Hail and lightning also possible. So let's time things out on our weather model here. Our future cast showing, uh, again, this band or this area of more widespread rain will come to pause. It scoots out the door. And I do think uh, we'll get some drier moments around 9, maybe 10 o'clock. After that, though, that's when those storms start to roll back in. We get more cold air and more bands of these thunderstorms. So, again, we'll see scattered storms today. Some of these storms could have some downpours, locally gusty winds, even some hail and lightning. And as we head our way into the afternoon, we could even see some of these cells rotating. And that is when we sometimes pull in funnel clouds. So keep your eyes on the skies today, po uh, possibly some wacky and active weather with the chance for a funnel cloud or two somewhere in the Valley here. Again, areas of southwest uh, Washington always tend to be a spot that sees those as well. So, again, we keep it rainy overnight and into Tuesday. Finally, some dry time as we work our way into later tomorrow. Again, there's that thunderstorm potential. It includes Portland and the coastline, too. Downpours, lightning, and hail. That is what a funnel cloud looks like. This is from June from uh, Crane, Oregon. So we'll be watching the skies closely. If you see some rotation, potentially a funnel cloud may develop. If this cloud touches the ground, that is considered a weak tornado. And that is when we could see some damaging winds. So we'll watch the afternoon here for a chance of that. Again, that may happen somewhere in the valley or may not happen at all. And not everyone's going to see one. So uh, again, we'll watch closely. Here's a seven day windy and stormy today, a little drier through midweek, our daytime high in Portland this week will likely hover in the mid 50s. Still tracking